Courts now, Kenyan Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal has lost the application seeking to dis, uh, disqualification rather from the bench of one of the judges hearing her case on retirement age. Rawal had claimed Justice Milton Makandia was biased and needed to be disqualified from hearing the case. She accused Makandia of allegedly discussing her case with other parties, including the Attorney General. And as KTN's Michelle Ngele now reports, the decision by the Court of Appeal to dismiss the allegations could see the Deputy Chief Justice face charges of perjury. It was a big blow for Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal, who had moved to court accusing judges of the Court of Appeal of bias in delivering judgment of a retirement case. Lady Justice Rawal had filed an application in court claiming that Attorney General Gidumwigai met appellate judge Milton Makandia at the current county club in Nairobi to hatch a plot to dismiss her appeal and that of Justice Philip Tunoi challenging the retirement at 70. In a ruling, the Court of Appeal dismissed her application for Justice Milton Makandia's removal, saying he cannot interfere with the case. I take cognizance that the right to fair hearing is embedded in our constitution, which emphasizes that justice must be done to all without delay or undue regard to procedural technicalities. The constitution has vested in the court's judicial authority and mandate and has expressly stated that the right to fair hearing cannot be limited or abridged. That right is absolute. The present application is a far cry from what the law requires to be established to arrive at a finding of existence of possibility of bias. It is, not, it is our finding that the application lacks merit as there is no evidence of circumstances that would give rise to prejudice or jaundiced view on the part of the presiding judge. In conclusion, and applying the test in Porter versus Magill, no fair-minded and informed observer, having considered the fact, would conclude that there is a possibility that the presiding judge of this court or this court will not be impartial or fair or will be biased. In the result, we dismiss the notice of motion dated 15th February 2016 with costs to the respondents. Rawal's appeal arose from a decision by five high court judges to send her home. She argued that the high court had made a mistake in ruling that she retires at 70 instead of 74. According to the judges, however, Justice Rawal made a fresh start by pledging loyalty to the new constitution and that it was erroneous for the Deputy Chief Justice to claim that she can continue serving under the old constitution that put her retirement at 74 years. Civil appeal number six of 2016 shall be heard on the 7th of 2016 at 9.30 a.m. The Deputy Chief Justice maintains that the Judicial Service Commission is deliberately trying to kick them out of office in the wake of succession wars in the judiciary. Justice Tunoi, who is facing allegations of receiving a 200 million shilling bribe from Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero, has made similar claims and applied for the withdrawal of Justices Makambia and Justices GBM Kariuki from the case. What will happen next is what remains to be seen. Last year, the Judicial Service Commission wanted the Deputy Chief Justice to face charges of perjury should the allegations leveled against the Attorney General Given Wigai be found to be untrue. The Court of Appeal's decision to dismiss the allegations could very well see the Deputy Chief Justice in court again, this time for perjury. Michelle Ngele, KTN News, Nairobi.